Hello everyone, my name is Rucha Mahajan, Assistant Professor from the Department of Journalism and Mass Communication, Jagannath University, Jaipur. Today, I am going to talk about converting developed photograph into digital photograph. Digitizing old photos in one of the, is one of the most important things you can do to preserve priceless family moments. But doing so safely and efficiently is not always a simple process. There are several ways to convert family photos to digital, each with its own pros and cons. Which method you use depends on your personal pre preference, technical know-how and how much time you are willing to spend. If you have a large photo collection, a project like that can easily take up multiple weekends of your life you may not be willing to give up. Here are four different options for converting old family photos into digital images. Using a digital camera. Using a digital camera is a straightforward way to digitize a small collection of photos, though not highly recommended. This method works best for one or two images at a time, as long as they are in good condition. To, digi to digitize your photos with a digital camera, you will need a camera, a computer for storing and editing your images. Photo editing software to help you crop and adjust your images after you have scanned them. Adobe Photoshop is a popular choice and a dark room this will ensure you get a clear scan and a tripod this will help keep your camera still. Once you have collected everything you need digitizing digitizing the images is as simple as taking photos of them it is best to digitize photos in a dark room with a small light source but you must be careful to avoid glare once you have successfully snapped digital photos of your all of all your physical prints you can transfer them to control your computer and edit them using photo editing software using smartphones app there are several smartphone apps that can help you digitize your photos again if you have a small collection of photos you wish to digitize this can be a quick and easy option though the scans the scans will typically be of low quality keep in mind that most of these apps Work best with photographs printed from an inkjet or laser printer that are good in that are in good to great condition. A smartphone app can be used to digitize your photos, provide you have a similar setup as when scanning with a digital camera, a smartphone, a tripod, a computer, a dark room, and and photo editing software if you want to edit your photos beyond what you scanning what your scanning app allows once you have scanned your images using your app of choice digital copies will conveniently be stored on your phone to easily view and share with your friends and family or on social media if you wish if you wish from there if you want to free up storage space on your device you can transfer your digital images to a cloud storage service such as dropbox icloud or google drive using a flatbed scanner using a flatbed scanner to digitize photos is the best option for people who have physical photos in that may not be the in the best condition such as photos that have come out of the photo album it is also a good choice for people who want to scan a lot of pictures at once it can be time consuming to scan each photo separately flatbed scanners are fairly simple to use and will usually give you a better quality scan than the other options listed below uh, listed above the amount of money you spend on your scanner will depend on how long you plan on keeping it and what features it has. The most important thing to remember when shopping for a scanner is that higher resolution does not always mean better quality. 
some scanners do not work well with the certain types of photos so it's important to read reviews before purchasing one and make sure that it works well with the types of photos you plan or scanning most most often professional photo scanning services the last option is to use professional photos to digital scanning service these services have professional scanning equipment to give you a high quality scans and trained professionals that handle your photos these services may be more expensive than a bare bones photo scanners or a smartphone app but they tend but they are also more convenient give you a better quality and can handle large photo collections in varying conditions and sizes these professional services do the hard work for you they eliminate the need for you to sit at a desk for hours scanning individual photos yourself pricing varies among these services with some charging a flat fee for scanning services while other charge a per photo rate so what's the best way to digitize uh, digitize old photos if you have a lot of photos that you need to digitize choosing a professional photo scanning service like nostalgic media is your safest and most stress free option stress free option not only will hiring a professional service save you time and money but the quality improvement over diy option is significant as professionals in the industry since 1989 nost nostalgic media has the skills and the expertise needed to turn your age aging family photos into forever digital keepsakes and safely and affordably regardless of which method you choose converting your print photos to digital is a great idea even if your photo if even if your pictures have been stored in optimal conditions pollution free environments humidity balanced environments and light control environments they may still suffer from fading discoloration and curling save your photographs now before it's too late you will be able to keep your memories alive for many years to come next is photo appreciation Welcome to photography photo photography appreciation Welcome to photography appreciation the central idea of this course is that photography is a unique medium by which we can better understand the world ourselves and what it means to be human This is all the more compelling in our media saturated society where it is all too easy to lose touch with who we are amidst a never ending stream of image images and text photographic photographic images are a big bit a big part of that stream but they can also be instruments of awareness and empathy this course will help you recognize and understand the difference the hungarian photographer and artist leslo moholy negi famously said Anyone who fails to understand photography will be one of the illiterates of the future. We will examine photography from a wide variety of perspectives to provide you that understanding and you will learn how to begin to create your own compelling photographs. Most importantly, you will learn how to think different. You will learn to see with your heart and mind. and open your eyes to the world and its possibilities thank you so much